a lot of people ask me if it's still worth moving to Thailand and um, you know I've got to say I always see the better of the country because I love the place and it's home but I say to people who want to move out here you know it depends on what you would count as value for money so today I'm going to tell you a few things now how much things cost right now considering that the rate is about 36 sorry 37.5 but to the pound. So, you know, let's start with a few little simple things. A can of Coke, for instance, will cost you about 14 bar, which is 36 pence. Now, I was going in uh, in the shop up the road from where I was staying in, uh, in, in uh, Scarborough, and I was paying 99 pence for a can of Coke. Uh, I don't know what you guys pay. It doesn't matter what you guys pay. I was paying 99 pence. So I was paying about a third of a price, just under a third of a price in Thailand for a can of Coke. Now a beer costs you, depends where you go of course, from between 50 bar and around 75, 80 bar in an average sort of place. Now 50 bar is £1.31, so compared to where, where I went on the training course in London, I was paying £5.20 a pint, which is fucking obscene. Now just outside, up in um, Scarborough, I was paying £3.60, and so you can see there's a massive difference still in what you get for a beer here. To a beer there. Now they're big bottles of beer, which I'm charging 75 baht for. So it's great value still. A thousand baht is about 26 pounds at the moment. I remember when a thousand baht was 20 pounds. So you, you know, we're still we're six pounds out. It's not the big deal that everyone's making it out. Now if you're living here, internet, we we get the highest uh, internet. We get the uh, 3BB, um, whatever it's called, you know, the highest thing you can get. And we pay twenty-six pounds and thirty-four pence, which is around one thousand two hundred baht. Sorry, thirty-one pounds we pay per month, which is a little bit more than some in the UK, a little bit less than some in the UK. Uh, water per month we spend about seven pound ninety-eight pounds a month. And that's to walk the garden and everything, do the washing, cooking, whatever you know that kind of thing. Electric's the big one for us, although it's probably about the same in the UK. We pay about one hundred eighteen pound, four thousand five hundred baht. To 5,000 pounds would be 136 pounds. So electric's not too bad either. It is our biggest bill. It is our biggest thing we want to save on. And when I get back to work again, we're going to have um, you know solar panels installed to try and knock the electric price down. Try and make it a bit dearer. Taking the wife out for a meal, what does that cost? It depends where you go, but you can go out for like you know under a thousand bar, no problem, which is no problem at all. Six hundred bar for a meal for two with drinks. We drink soft drinks and don't drink beer when I'm out here. Um, you know, so it's it's really cheap. Or you can go all out and go to an expensive place. It pays two, three thousand baht. You know, working up yourself. You know, so you can spend sixty, seventy quid easy. But it depends on you. It depends where you go. It depends what you want to eat. It depends what sort of style you want to eat. But there are great value places to eat still here in Thailand. It is still great value. It costs you around. It cost me one thousand eight hundred baht to fill up the truck the other day, so about £40, but that's a big truck, big Ford, uh, you know, truck we've got, so it is quite expensive, that was rock bottom on the on the line, like, so, you know, it's still cheap, it's probably still £20, £25, £30 cheaper than the UK to fill up, and well, apart from that, guys, you know, do I think it's worth value coming to Thailand? Of course I do, it's lovely, it's wonderful here, it's lovely and warm outside today, you know, I'm happy, healthy, and I'm here, still, so there you go. Is it worth staying in Thailand? Yes, it is.